Welcome to a tour of Nintendo on 22.6. In this video, we are revisiting the updating care statistics extended example. And this time, we're going to transition it from the existing pattern using temporary variables and display macro to working with a different pattern using the go to macro to refresh the entire passage instead of working with individual hooks. Now, to start, we need to just review the existing code and then we'll kind of walk through what it will look like to transition from one pattern to another. So currently we have the start passage, which is the starting passage. It's establishing four different story-wide variables, known as dollar sign. Then we move to create character, which is the kind of main centerpiece of this particular extended example. We're using two temporary variables. We're using multiple uses of the display macro to adjust points, do statistics, and we're doing across all four corresponding Statistics and then adjust points does a little bit of testing for us just to see if we can adjust those statistics or not. And then finally over here we have statistics which shows us all of the current values and resets stat update back to zero. So one of the defining aspects of this initial extended example is that it used temporary variables and multiple use of the display macro as I mentioned. And one of the things we saw is when we work with temporary variables, they exist as long as passage navigation doesn't happen. So one of the tricks we saw in this particular example, as we finished it in an earlier video, is that we could create temporary variables and then use those temporary variables using the display macro as long as we didn't leave that initial passage. So working with the macros that add additional interactivity, link, link rerun, link repeat are all totally fine as long as we don't leave that passage. Coming into working with the display macro in working towards a different pattern, we need to consider that central idea I just mentioned, that when we work with temporary variables, they only remain until another passage transition happens. Once we start working with the go-to macro, we can't use temporary variables in the same way because it will be going to the same passage again. It's a particularly useful pattern in Harlow, but it comes with some kind of drawbacks at the same time. So let's kind of transition over to using the go-to macro in this particular example. So coming back over to create character, one of the things we want to do is instead of displaying statistics multiple times, every multiple times, every time we need it, we can just place it once within the passage. And then in that same place, we will instead go to, go to back, that is, return to the same create character. So I'm going to go ahead and take out multiple instances of this right across the board. And then I'm going to come down the last one for me, control X. If you are on Mac, it would be command X. Go ahead and cut and paste that to the bottom. All right, now I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup right here. Just so things are a little easier to read. The code will get more complicated over time. All right, so the inner if macro is only affecting a single line. Right here, just kind of finish up my cleanup. And of course, for the last one. So what we want to happen is say, okay, regardless, as, regardless of if the stat update happens or not, what we want to happen is inside the kind of outer hook that we call the go to macro every single time we come back and refresh the passage. Now it's going to immediately create some issues for us, but we can start to incorporate these changes. So what are we interested in? We wanted to go to create character, matching the exact name of the passage we are currently looking at. And then I'm going to copy and paste. So for me, uh, control C, and then I will basically do uh, replace it every time. Um, okay, and we'll fix it. So let's go ahead. We just introduced some issues, but let's go ahead and just run this just so we can see what this looks like. Great character. And now everything looks the same. And notice we immediately see those changes. And this is the power of working with this pattern, working with the go to macro. We are refreshing the entire passage instead of refreshing an individual hook. Powerful pattern, but we've just introduced some problems here. Notice I can go way past eight, or way past five, and on to eight. Part of the reason I can do this is because our temporary variables are actually getting reset every time I'm clicking. 
So every time the link rerun is getting rerun, it is going to the same passage, which means it's resetting the initial setup of the temporary variables. Put another way, we can't use temporary variables for this setup because they will get refreshed every time we do it. So that's not a smart design in this particular pattern. So we've got a little bit of issues and they start right here, which is to say that every time this is getting refreshed, we are resetting these back to five and zero and any of the story-wide variables are maintaining across. So the statistics that we start in the start passage are maintaining themselves throughout the continued use of the go-to macro, but the temporary variables are not. So let's kind of think about this. Okay, so we can't use temporary variables. What if we made these story-wide variables? So that's a start of fixing this. And potentially I could go through and fix every single usage of stat update. But there's a very useful tool when we're working in a low as part of the toolbar. So you'll notice in many of these videos, I don't necessarily use the toolbar, but there's an incredibly useful uh, functionality as part of this right here, find and replace. Notice I, so I highlighted and immediately jumped up here. And what I want to replace this with is stat update. I'm going to click place all. And now I don't have to rewrite it every single time across all of these. Okay, so we fixed it here. Now let's come over to adjust points and we'll need to fix it over here. So same thing here, I'll repeat this, highlight it, find and replace, change this over to points, replace, and we can just fix this single thing right here. So we fixed the adjust points passage. Let's move our statistics and fix this to stat update back to zero, okay. But we still got this same initial problem. So we, we fixed the kind of initial problem, which is say they're temporary variables, but now the problem is they're still story-wide variables, but every time we refresh this passage, create character, go to, go to, go to, go to, they're keeping reset. So we're gonna have to move these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these. For me, uh, control X, if you're on Mac, command X. Let's go ahead and cut and paste them over here. And so now we're going to set them up in the start passage so they pre-exist. So every time we kind of do that now external passage loop into the, instead of the internal hook loop, then they're already existing. So let's clean this up a little bit. My cursor correct? Okay. So what we want to happen is say, okay, every time we run this loop, go ahead and update these and let's test this out. And that seems to be working fine. Perfect, look at that. So now they don't increase past five. This is fantastic. But at this point, we actually don't really need to adjust points anymore. Because one of the things we've now set up, or one of the things that just points was solving, that is in the other, in the previous extended example, is that just points was kind of solving an issue that we were breaking up the complexity. Again, don't let complexity confuse you. We can break things up into smaller parts that are easier for us to understand. One of the problems that adjust points was solving is that we needed to work with the temporary variables and then come back and work with some more things in great character, but we don't actually need this much anymore. And at the same time, there's a secondary problem. We're never seeing this text right here. Notice when we were running it, and I'll rerun it just so we can see this, we were never seeing the remaining amount of points. The assignment of the points from the pool was working great, and this looks really nice now, but this line right here was never showing up. And the reason why it was never showing up is that the go-to macro was happening, its effect was happening before this text would have ever been shown. And so now we've got a little bit of a problem. We still wanna see the remaining points and adjust points as a passage isn't particularly needed. So let's kind of talk this through. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, so control X, and I'm gonna put it over in statistics, just to kind of clean this up a little bit. Because what I want is I want remaining points to always be shown on the screen, right? And so we've removed it from adjust points. And now let's play. And notice we got smarts, brown, brown, and then we got remaining points down here. And then notice it is now decreasing correspondingly. Fantastic, looks very clean. We can always see what we're doing. And of course, if we wanted to, we could add more um, styling updates to or style to that to kind of clean up that text and maybe highlight it for a potential reader. But as I mentioned, we don't really need this anymore. 
But we do really need this two, these two things to work. Stat update is not as important as it was in a previous example when we were working with temporary variables. And in fact, we've removed temporary variables. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna control X, come back over to create character, and let's kind of talk through what we were doing previously. So previously, inside the hook associated with each link rerun macro, we were doing display adjust points, we were doing something else, and then we were going back to display statistics. But now we don't really need that anymore. So what if then, instead of a stat update is zero, we just replace this line, this, and I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here. I'm gonna cut this, and I'm gonna replace this here, cut this, and then I'll explain what I'm doing here in just a moment. Okay, so, kind of cleaning up. All right, so in the new code, we're just testing, hey, if points is greater than zero, because now it's a story-wide variable, then go ahead, decrease points by one, increase smart by one, go to create character, which is refresh the page. Okay, so this is pretty clean. Now let's do the same thing for the rest of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, take out the previous use of a display macro, so we're not using that pattern in this video, and clean up our code a little bit. Exact same thing we were doing previously. As long as points is greater than zero, decrease it by one. Just clean up everything a little bit. All right, and now I need to fix the last two, so I will go ahead and copy and paste, and we will figure out the last couple of usages here. And exact same thing, a lot of copy and pasting, but that's okay. And that should be okay, and then one last time for the last statistic here taking out this, replacing it with this, clean up code a little bit, then we will finally get back to what we were doing. All right, double checking everything is aligned. All right, so now in our new code, we're not using adjust points at all, which means if we're not using adjust points, then stat update is not particularly useful because now we've removed it from create character, and we're not using that temporary variable pattern anyway, so we don't even need that passage. So I'm gonna close this, close this. Let's go ahead and delete it. Let's come back to passage and delete that passage. Come back to statistics. And remember, we were using stat update here, so go ahead and remove that, don't need it anymore. And come back to start, take this out, don't need this anymore. So we've reduced the total number of variables we, we were using, and now we've got a completely different setup where now we're checking, hey, as long as points are greater than zero, and they will be starting from the start passage, then we can decrease points by one, add number uh, two to corresponding variables, smarts, brawn, fight, and fling, and of course, go to create character every time the reader clicks on it, refreshing the total passage. So let's look at this. Create character. Now on each time, very clean setup, notice those points are decreasing very nicely and everything is working exactly as intended. So everything looks very nice. We can assign different points, and we're using the go to macro pattern instead of working with temporary variables and display macro, or multiple uses of the display macro. So it's very clean. Potentially, if we wanted, we could stop right here. But now that we've walked into this, working with this different pattern, we can kind of continue our steps in this. What we looked at in the previous extended example is that we were just kind of working with addition. That is, we were adding points from it. We were subtracting points from initial points pool, adding them to the other statistics. If we wanted to, we could do the other way, which is say we could start to incorporate subtraction. That would not be terribly difficult given the code we already have. In fact, the comparisons would be very easy. We would just check to see if each corresponding statistic was greater than zero because we're decreasing the point pool and then assign it the other way around. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up a little bit by putting the collapse macro, or the collapse uh, points here around the total thing. So let's kind of clean this up a little bit. And I'm gonna put it like that just to make it very clean. So I'm gonna collapse everything having to do with this code. And we're just gonna put everything on a single line just to make it very clean and 
a little bit less readable perhaps, but we understand them with how the code works. We just saw it. Okay, fix this. And do the exact same thing again is collapse everything around this use of pattern. Okay, so notice everything looks a little cleaner. It's a little more complicated. We're working multiple concepts here, but a little cleaner looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this, so control C, and immediately paste it right after, and I'm gonna change this to the minus sign. And instead of points, I'm not interested in points in this particular one, I'm interested in smarts is greater than zero, and then let's flip it, plus one, minus one. Okay, now let's do the exact same thing again. Paste, minus, this time instead of points, we are interested in uh, brawn for this one. So me brawn, uh, points, plus one, smarts minus one. Sorry, I accidentally typed the underscore. There it goes. Clean up everything there. And then we will do the exact same thing again. Copy paste. Minus, so this time, fight. Same thing again. We are increasing points. Subtracting fight. And we are doing the exact same thing one last time. Minus, this time, fling. We are adding points back subtracting corresponding statistics. Okay, so this should be fling and this should fight. Just double checking, oh, I forgot one. That's what I was double checking. Brawn and finally smarts. So notice we've got the same pattern repeated twice here. For this first kind of chunk, we are adding double checking to see the story and now story-wide variable points is greater than zero. If it is, we decrease points by one, increase smarts by or decrease points by one, increase smarts by one, and then we do the other way around for the subtraction. As long as smarts is greater than zero, so we don't want to go into negatives, although potentially we could, we want to increase points by one, subtract smarts by one, and then we see the same pattern repeating for brawn and for fight and for fling, set up in the exact same way every time. Uh, so there, there it goes, points fixing it as I'm double checking my own work here. Okay, so if this is set up correctly, I believe it is, but we'll see. Notice we have plus and minus. So let's say sign one of smarts, increase it, but I can't go more than zero, and that's correct. So go ahead and assign everything I want. And I said, ah, no, actually, let's add a point, we add a new point here, subtract a point here, add a point here, subtract a point. And notice we can assign the remaining pull of points. But we've now shifted to a completely different pattern within Harlow. So in the previous extended example, we were again working with temporary variables and display macro, and particularly the use of temporary variables that will not change as long as we don't leave the passage. And that can become an incredibly powerful tool when we're working with multiple uses of display macro and temporary variables in the single passage. And we were working with the link rerun macro to create that interface for us. Now we shifted to a completely different pattern, but the same general idea. So we're still working with variables, still working with the set macro and the if macro, but in this particular video, we are now working with the go to macro to create an interface that will refresh the entire passage instead of just individual hooks. So each of those comes with pros and cons. When we were working with temporary variables in a single passage, we had to constantly keep track of those variables. And in fact, notice we had two extra variables that we were working with just within that single passage. Points that we're kind of constantly keeping track of and stat update, which was serving a similar purpose. And we kind of needed to break that out into a second passage to keep track of that work for us. Not complicated, but a little bit tricky. So we could potentially work with temporary variables and multiple use display macros in a single passage to create the same interface we created in the extended example. In this one, we're working with the go-to macro, which means we can't use temporary variables because we're doing passage transitions. That's the kind of threshold point for understanding temporary versus story. But we can create the same general interface using our new concepts and our previous knowledge to now combine multiple uses of macros if, stat, and go-to now 
working again with the display macro we were already using, kind of return to that statistics every time, but in this time, refreshing the entire passage instead of individual hook. A little more complicated, but the same general ideas we've been seeing across this videos now apply to revisiting a previous example and extending it based on this new knowledge of working with this particular pattern, the go-to macro, Arlo 3.3 and Twine 2.6. Thanks for watching.